This is the introduction video for grade A that shows you how to add data. I plan to make 5 to 10 videos over the next few months showing how to use grade A. One of the first tasks you will want to do is add your student names. This video will show you how to manually enter names, and I plan to make another video showing the CSV import options. The help menu describes the comma separative value format you must use. I'll open a new file in grade A. Next, I'll check the preferences and turn on the option that return adds a new item if it's not already on. This is convenient when adding data initially. I'll switch to the Add Edit Students tab. You can reorder the columns by dragging them left and right. You can also change the order that the table sorts them by by pressing the column header to switch it between ascending and descending order. Press the Add button to add a new student, and then after adding the data in the first column, press the Tab key to move to the next column. You do not need to enter data for every column, but if you want to email students, you must enter at least one email address for each student. Also, if you want to copy your data to the iOS attendance attend.db file, you must enter a unique value for each student in the ID column. You can use any sequence of characters such as your school's ID number for the student or the last name as long as you add extra characters if two students have the last name. After you've entered values for all the fields you want, press the Recurrent key to add a new student or press the Add button. When you've entered the last student, press the Escape key after entering the last field to stop editing. The information on the other tabs is entered similarly. 